Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 22. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss all about WooCommerce support configurations. Now if I back to browser, so right now as we can see from this SOAP page that is it is using the default template called index.php. Now this is the file from our custom theme. So now if we go inside this WooCommerce section of this admin panel, go inside this status, inside this system status, if I scroll down to its footer and as we can see that underneath of this theme section, here we have called WooCommerce support, which is not declared yet. So that's why we are using this index.php. If suppose we want to use the WooCommerce product layouts, WooCommerce templates or if we want to override or customize any feature of WooCommerce then we need to declare a WooCommerce support. Without declaring any WooCommerce support, we are not going to support any features of WooCommerce inside any of the theme. So here this is the currently activated theme and inside this theme we have not declared any WooCommerce support. So we need to actually declare a WooCommerce support so that if we want to override, customize or use the inbuilt templates of WooCommerce support, we need to use inside this. As we know that this is our SOAP page which is using index.php layout or template of our custom theme. When we click on any of the product, it is going to use again index.php for this single product page. So first of all, we need to declare our WooCommerce support and also we need to configure about each of the product setting. So how can we declare? Simply back to editor. This is currently activated theme functions.php file. Inside this file, we can declare every functional steps which makes our theme as more functional. Now inside this, as we have inside our previous video sessions, we have declared our action hook called after setup theme. This action hook is now calling this function and inside this function, we have declared our navigation bar, navigation bar registration as well as a theme support. So we need to add a section of WooCommerce so simply we need to use the same WordPress function called add theme support and inside this simply we are going to use let's say WooCommerce here. All we done if we save this change back here reload this page and inside this admin panel we will see all about this WooCommerce support is in active state. It means our green check is now enabled which indicates that this custom theme is now going to support WooCommerce features. And also behind the scene now before actually declaring WooCommerce support it is using index.php. Now if I reload this page after declaring WooCommerce support now this is going to use see the template name archive-product dot php and as we know that this is the template which actually we didn't declare inside our custom theme so we are from it coming if we go inside this template relative path it is coming from plugins woocommerce templates and archive hyphen product dot php it means the layout which is currently using inside this swap page is coming from woocommerce plugin and after declaring WooCommerce support, inside this theme, the layout is now totally distorted. And this is because we have some issues of bootstrap about it, like calls and rows. So we will fix this template in the next lectures. Inside this, let's understand about WooCommerce support. So as we have, if we have actually declared WooCommerce support, now our SOAP page is using archive-product.php. If we click on this single product, it is now using the template. Here it, it is using called single-product.php and it is also coming from our plugins page. 
so if we want to make this layout much better looking more perfect so we need to override or customize these templates like single product for single product detail page and for the soap page we need to actually customize or override this file called archiveproduct.php so we will see these things in more detail in next lectures so right now this is all about the image section here we have the product title product amount and here we have add to cart button so we have several products inside this page here we have the pagination also this is all about our WooCommerce sidebar so inside this page we have two sections like WooCommerce content like WooCommerce products as well as WooCommerce pages so let's say that if we want to customize these images like our product grid product images what we are displaying inside this shop section also if we want to control over the size of this single product we can go and control over these sizes so how can we control back to editor go here declare an array inside this simply let's say thumbnail image width equal to let's say 150 pixel so this is the image width of all the images what we have inside this products page now if we want to customize the image width of the single product so simply we need to add another key like single underscore image underscore width here and let's say that we want something 200 pixel in upcoming videos when we'll customize all about the features of let's say and here as we can see that the image width is not totally changed if I comment all these two properties save this change reload this page and open a duplicate tab and here if I uncomment that reload this page and this time we will see that the product image width is now totally changed from this file from this size to 150 pixels what we have declared inside WooCommerce support and also if I click on this single image so as we can see that also we have controlled the single image width so this is all about using WooCommerce support and its properties in upcoming videos when we will learn about how can we customize all about this single product.php or let's say archive product.php so inside that we also use a product grid settings so with the name of product grid here we have another properties inside this something with the name of let's say product underscore grid so inside this this will be an array inside this we can pass all about our custom settings inside this key so that by using this key we can control all about the rows and calls maximum products available in single row all is a single column we can control all of the settings inside this product grid row but right now we have layout distortion it means we have some issues like calls rows container so we will fix from next videos so inside this video session guys we have now successfully declared or configured our WooCommerce support so that our custom theme is now ready to support all the WooCommerce features its template overriding features and many more so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day